I have a surprise for you. Yeah! Yeah! Dude, that was sick as fuck. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and today we're looking at the Overdrive expansion of Awesome Knots with Professor Ulip who uh, seems pretty cool. He's from the Jurassic period, and he's Ayla's granddad. <laughs> and his song's a fucking jam. <laughs> Alrighty, so, <laughs> Professor Milton has a gripping gaze which stuns the enemy, but also keeps you still while you have them in your grip. Uh, you can increase the duration of the snare, you can increase the range of the gaze. Uh, you can shoot electric shocks, which seems like a defense thing while you're using it. Increasing the base damage seems cool. Uh, makes dinosaurs uh, larger and do more damage after the grip. And then there's a lifesteal to it, which is pretty nifty. Summoning three dinos. They last for three seconds. And uh, 4.5 attacks per second is a hell of a lot. Increases the base damage uh, lifetime by 100%, so six seconds is considerable. Uh, Dinos drop health packs, get an extra dino, increases damage when enemies under crowd control effect, reduces movement speed of dinosaurs, and increases their lifetime, which seems kind of like a double-edged sword, maybe. Uh, and then finally, there's the wrench smack, which can also heal droids if you hit your own droids, which is nice. You can increase the damage, which is cool. Um, then there's, you could, like, adding an amplified damage to the wrench attack, which is freaking amazing, especially with the dinosaurs going. Uh, hitting enemies will reduce the cooldown on the dinos, and then killing buttsaw droids will make them drop a health pack. Increasing droid and heal summons, which is probably what I'll go for. And then a quark microscope, which will let health packs increase your speed, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, probably one of the most important things for Milton is the speed increase, because he is a melee character who focuses on just, uh... Being in the right place with the right time with the dinosaur, with the dinosaurs, and uh, snaring people just like that. Caught that Ayla pretty good. I think she can still have her rage up when she's immobilized, but um, yeah, it definitely helps to just hold somebody still in awesome knots, especially if you've got like a Raylan or something on your team. Oh my god, that Ted is scary. He's so scary. Tried to immobilize him. This is where the life steal of the snare might come in quite nice. There's two other characters that have not been released on the beta version of Awesome Knots, but I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm surprised at how much fun I'm having just uh, beating up bots with Professor Milton, Milton Ulip. Yes, he's a little crazy, but so so is Dayton, so we get along. <laughs> I like him. He's got a nightmare to VHS recorder. He's a... Uh, just a senile old man, basically, is his character, and I think it's hilarious. He comes from the Jurassic period. Yeah. Those dinosaurs got out of the combat zone kind of quick, so maybe the movement speed decrease wouldn't be such a bad thing, all things considered. Those droids might get to my... yeah. That's alright. They had low health. Hey, Yuri! Hey, Yuri! Dinosaurs! Yeah, again, they just kind of got out of the combat zone too quick. Luckily, Ted McPain's there. I wasn't about to jump over there with my super low health pool <laughs> to try and fuck with that. No, no, no. That's just fine. So I think increasing the... The droid heal of the wrench. My god, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> the droid heal on the wrench seems good. Amplify damage. Uh, increase damage of the wrench. And then the movement speed and lifetime of the dinos. The lifetime of the dinos and the increased damage of the dinos. And then for the gripping gaze, probably I'd suggest going for uh, lifesteal, duration, mm, and damage, or some such. Or some such. Range would be good to fit in there somehow, but, uh, you know, what do you want to give up for? it? The eternal question. Get out of here, clunk! Stop being a dish. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. So am I excited for the Overdrive expansion? Yes, an $8 game or $9 expansion is very little to pay for a game that I've spent almost like 400 hours in. I'm really, really excited. I freaking love Awesome Nuts. Uh, hey, Ayla, come over here. Come over here, Ayla. 
I have a surprise for you. Yeah! Yeah! Dude, that was sick as fuck. I just kind of dropped the dinos and set it all up. Set it all up nicely. So if you see the dinos come a marching, fucking run. Just run. Don't let Milton come and snare you in the middle of that. So I'm going to increase the lifetime of the dinosaurs one more time. And I'll get the relativity slippers. Which do increase movement speed after you use your gripping gaze. After you disable someone or something is what it says. But um, basically that's his disable. So it's pretty cool. Hold this dude still. Hold this dude still. Yeah. Awesome. I love it so. I love it so much. Dude, I'm... I'm in love with this character. I think uh, once it goes live, I mean, I'm gonna buy Overdrive instantly as soon as it comes out. But once this character goes live, he's uh, he's my new baby boo. He's not as sexy as Ksenia, but he's twice as fun. Because he's just like in the middle. People can see you coming for them. See you coming for them and like they have to run. Oh shit. See, moments like that is not so great. Yeah. She... She learned from the last time. I don't know. It's a bot. Probably doesn't learn. <laughs> Something it's in its coding said to run away. I've also noticed that the the bots are doing a lot better. Like, if there was no work done on Asanauts, they just released it. Fuck. <laughs> if they just released it and uh, it stayed with the eight original characters, I would be a lot more hesitant to pay out for the Overdrive expansion. But they've given you the Starstorm expansion, which had three or four characters in it. And then on top of that, they have also developed a variety of new characters. I think there's like 15 to 18 or something that are just free to play once you buy the base game. But I mean, the base game even goes on sale for 99 cents during like every fucking sale. There's there's no reason not to get into this. It's fucking amazing. I love Ronimo. Um, granted, I'd like them to fix some things like peer to peer and whatnot. Um, some people just just are infinitely laggy. Oh my god, I ate that Ayla. She was trying to run from our head and she got ate up. That was awesome. And grip that. Yeah! Oh, that's such a good assist for the clump. Oh, but my dinosaurs can't get up there. I've been thwarted! Luckily, that fucking Ted. That Ted is hungry as fuck. Ah. So yeah, I enjoy the characters that they've developed for free, such as Scoop and Rocco, and I think Ksenia is free as well. So, you know, they're they're doing their part um, and throwing them eight or nine bucks every year or two. That's that's not so bad to keep the game going and developed and with an active community because it is something that I really enjoy. No other MOBA is 2D. No other MOBA offers such twitchy gameplay. Um, oh my god. Yes! Yes! The lifetime on those dinos, dude! Holy shit! It fucking wrecked! I've, I've, I've gushed so much about this game already that I don't think I need to do much more of that. Yeah, get the life steal on that gaze. And, uh, it looks like we're gonna push that bottom turret. Mm hmm Clunk's over there already. Wonderful. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, I love it. Go dinosaurs! Clear this wave! Yeah, definitely go for the movement speed decrease. And uh, I kind of heal these droids up as I push them towards the turret, but it's not going to be enough. They probably bought them a melee attack, which I don't know if that really matters, but we're in their base now. Oh shit's getting wrecked. And uh, as you can see, these dinosaurs are just wrecking. It's, it's disgusting what they're able to do, even without the gripping gaze in conjunction with it. I want to eat this Yuri. I want to eat him. Go! Oh my god. <laughs> he thought he was coming out here. Nah. Nah, brah. So, this has been Awesome Knox, a little discussion about the Overdrive expansion. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. I hope to see you in game. Add me on Steam if you'd like, but don't send me messages while I'm in game. Thanks so much. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye-bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you.